We have more information on how to identify those emerald ash borers. Joining me now is Lyle Minchel. And uh, could you tell me a little bit more and kind of go into more about what we talked about on Monday? Well, Monday we talked about identifying the ash tree themselves. Right. You know, and what the branches look like, what the leaves look like, the seeds, the bark, and stuff like that. But today we're going to talk about how to identify the little bug itself. Okay. And, and of course, every, like most bugs, they, have, they start in a larval stage. And I, I loved your reaction on that. When, <laughs> yes, uh, I that, said that, ew. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ew. Gross. Yeah, but every bug is to start that way. But, <laughs> but these larvae, they start out as an egg, and, and then they, they burrow themselves inside underneath the bark, and they will make these little trails, little S-curved mm -hmm. trails mm -hmm. like this. And uh, this is, this is kind of... Uh, uh, is, is what an emerald ash larva do. It's, mm -hmm. it's an ash shape. Mm -hmm. The rest, rest of the bugs will do something a little bit different. And, so. and then when they become an adult, and they overwinter, like with that law, I mean, when they become an adult, they have an exit hole. Mm -hmm. And it's not round. It's a D shape. You can see, see yeah. the flat side on it? Like a semicircle. And so that is, that is how to identify the emerald ash borer okay. also. And so, so what do you do if you find one of these holes in your ash trees then? Well, you, you have to make a decision on what you want to do, if you want to treat it or if you want to remove it. Right. You know, and we'll talk about, you know, how that decision process okay. you know, at a later time. Sure. Too. And then when they come out, they emerge and we've got our lovely, pretty green metallic bug, mm -hmm. you know. But that explains guys, why it's called the emerald ash borer. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And these, these guys are not very big. Mm -hmm. They're only like, like three eighths inch long. And that hole there may be about a quarter inch mm -hmm. or less, you know. So they're not a very big bug. And we'll, we'll talk about some of the lookalikes, too, in, at a later time. But um, some, you know, another way to identify that you might have an emerald ash borer is what they call blonding. Okay. This is where woodpeckers will go in and start tearing off the bark off the ash tree mm -hmm. to get to the, to the larva to the that, you, that you so much love. Oh, right? yes. Yeah. That's so cute. <laughs> So, well, this is another identifier, too. And okay. So, but if they have a question, they can give us a call. Okay. You know, I'll have to look at that, too. Sure. Uh, unfortunately, emerald ash borer is not the only bug around here. Mm -hmm. We have what they call an ash bark beetle. And, and we talked about the trails they leave underneath the, underneath the bark. Well, they just kind of go all over the place. Less of an S shape. Right. Yeah. Right. And so this is, you know. This is the uh, ash bark beetle, mm -hmm. and so and they're and they're a little teeny tiny bug. Mm -hmm. they're, not, they're not very big at all either. So, so and then we have what they call an lilac borer. Now these guys, you know, they have a, a little bit bigger hole, and they're round. Mm -hmm. And you'll see these in this. I've I've kind of toured the the city a little bit, and 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 saw a lot of this right in the trees already. So. Uh, they're not doing the trees any favor, but mm -hmm. they don't really, you know, in, uh, over time they'll probably kill the, kill the tree too. So it's Well, we've definitely learned a lot about these different insects and things that can kind of infect these trees. Um, we're going to have definitely more from you next week, I believe, yep. on uh, how do I, how, what to do if you do identify one in your tree. Exactly. So exactly. Uh, thanks so much for joining yeah. me, though. We've yeah. learned a lot, and uh, I uh, hope I don't see any of these things in person. <laughs> That's all I can say. Okay. Thank I'll, you. I'll give you a call. If you need okay, it sounds great. <laughs> Thank right. you. Right. And your final weather is up next after the break.